Hello, good day everyone, and Sir Kevin here again, and welcome to another uh, discussion about our retail management subject. And um, we've been through with our prelims, and we've stopped through chapter 4. It's about uh, the retail institutions according to uh, the their ownership. So uh, it's a continuation of that chapter, but uh, today we'll be discussing retailing institution by in-store retail strategy mix so what are those uh, physical stores uh, physical uh, retailing that's in-store retailing and when we'll be using that strategy and what other marketing activities you can do when when you when you do that in-store retail strategy this would be quick the we'll just be discussing few of them and some strategies that uh, that you can do uh, for this type of retail institutions okay so without further ado uh, we'll be having an infographics about that topic so uh, we have different ways on making our uh, products available for final consumption and uh, literally if you want to see that you will be using that physical uh, strategy so that's a in-store in-store based retail institution okay so uh, you will be uh, you will you will be um, seeing that the physical products no? uh, that's the idea of that uh, retail institution uh, by the way in buyer behavior no, you might be you might be encountering encountering this idea that uh, there are certain impulses whenever things are available at hand no what do you think of there are cer certain impulses that drives a person to buy that product whenever those products are available. Diba? Diba kapag dumaan ang isang nagtitinda halimbawa, may dumang nagtataho, kadalasan ay um, mapapabili ka. No? Dumaan ka sa isang um, grocery store, nakita mo, ah, meron kang binibili, tapos meron ka nakita sa tabi at binili mo rin. No? That's one good advantage of an in-store retail strategy mix. Okay? So what are those classifications of those uh, retail institutions? So according to in-store retail strategy, we have different institu uh, um, set up of um, physical stores. Uh, so we have a convenience stores, conventional supermarket, food-based superstore, box stores, warehouse stores, special stores, variety stores, department store, factory outlet, and membership club. As you can see, um, you have already uh, saw these kinds of um, retail institution. Why? They are physical and uh, they are aggressive, especially on doing doing promotional uh, activities. No? As well as uh, they try to be upscaling, not upscale. Ibig sabihin, they widen this, uh, the, their um, product offerings so that um, the whole experience, the total retail experience, no, will... Uh, will be more beneficial to the customers dahil hindi na siya alis sa, sa lugar na yan. So first, let's talk about the convenience store. A convenience store is a retail institution wherein you can see convenience products. Okay? So yes, that, that might be um, offering shopping products but um, they, all, they really offer convenience uh, products wherein the products that uh, that uh, uh, a consumer need in an instant. Kanya convenience stores. Uh, if you if you will be observing these kinds of um, um, convenience stores such as Seven Eleven, Alpha Mart, and then uh, Mini Stop, uh, they tend to sell those uh, products on the go. Yung mga nakalimutan ng tao, yung mga bigla ang kailangan nila. No, that's the idea of the convenience store. The word it's is convenience stores, and they upscaled their operations and. Uh, right now they are selling uh, ready to eat food no um iinit lang nila just like a fried chicken and a rice no which is technically one of the uh, filipino favorites no and also um they have uh, loading stations no wherein yung mga big again bigla ang kailangan ng tao okay so that's uh, that's the convenience store so we have a conventional supermarket uh what's within a convenience uh uh, conventional supermarket from the word it's of supermarket no? all of those consumer goods that you might need no? 
So, groceries, mga kailangan mo, no? Kailangan mo within the household. That's that's where your convenience uh, conventional supermarket uh, um, targets, no? Saan siya nagmumula. No? So, kung papasyal ka sa isang SM supermarket, sa, sa isang Save More, uh, SM Hypermarket, and then so, um, Robinson's Easy Mart, no? and super, uh, supermarket, they tend to offer those groceries that you might be needing in the household. Kung mapansin din yung mga product nila. But then, we have a food-based superstore. So, uh, this is a store where in the, they offer a variety of products, but uh, they also offer food base, no? yung food mismo, not just the canned goods and uh, they, they also offer uh, this as um, ready-to-eat food. No? Sabi ko nga, they, they tend to widen the array arrays of their um, product offerings. No? Then we have a box store. No? Um, technically in some in some other other textbooks they call these kiosks no what what are those kiosks uh, these are stores na limited yung space no uh, but uh, their main idea if you remember we have what we call list departments in terms of ownership no? so box stores are parang ganun yun nga lang uh, technically box stores are even popping out outside the lanes ibig sabihin pwedeng nasa gitna sila then um, pagkakasya nila yung mga products nila. Uh, and the main idea of that um, physical store is just to be present, no? to be present in that area to uh, trigger impulse purchases. No? Nasa gitna ka. So it might be a strategical location by the way because uh, pwedeng nasa gitna yun ng kainan tapos habang naghihintay ka, no? eh, nakita mo yun. No? These, these are the idea of the kiosk uh, um, box stores. No, and even kiosk in cyber zone there are uh, there are small stores that's those are called kiosk there are uh, what we call stalls naman no na naka boundaries no so there are different and certain certain um pur- purposes for that and uh, as you have made notice about the the cyber zone uh, box stores in na nasa gitna they tend to uh, to offer uh, convenience goods just like uh, yung uh, tempered glass, tempered glass, uh, other accessories, no? Because uh, hindi specialty yung binebenta nila, no? Uh, ang isang specialty product tendency is ibebenta mo yan sa isang mas magandang space, di ba? So, technically, you'll be selling uh, le- lesser uh, prices or affordable prices products no, sa isang box store. No? Depende, however, most likely ganun yung ginagawa. Okay? So, we have a warehouse store where in, uh, uh, it's it's more on a bulk, no? uh, b- uh, bulk uh, selling, no? and um, dito nagbababa ng uh, mga produkto ng pangmaramihan. That's that's a warehouse store. No? Just like an, uh, the setup of, uh, of um, SNR. However, it also it is also categorized as membership club no so warehouse or ibig sabihin pang maramihan makikita mo naka naka set up siya na parang they, they store up many many products whereas as conventional supermarket makikita mo ilan lang tapos magre-refill na naman sila but a warehouse store ang setup niya is ando na lahat nakalatag na lahat no okay and then we have uh, special special stores that's a um, uh, different definition however a special store is uh, uh, focuses on specialty products no uh, in fact in in other in other setups they call that a flagship store they focus on one, uh, selling one specific product or one specific line of product products that um pwedeng merong merong appeal in a concentrated market that's why it's called a special store no and then a variety store. A variety store is parang isang sari-sari store, no? Though they technically call that uh, uh, what do you call this? Convenience store sa ibang mga setup. But a variety store from the word itself variety. We have different varieties of products. No, ibig sabihin, the term variety iba-iba, maramihan. It's homo uh, heterogeneous to uh, kung uh, i-explain natin characteristic no makulay iba-iba yung laman no in fact biglang ma- maiisip mo 
pag bumibili ka sa tindahan, technically yung mga kailangan mo lang sa household kadalasan yung binibili. Madalas pagkain, di ba? But uh, you might be thinking, bakit may sinulid silang binibenta? Bakit uh, bakit may band aid? Bakit may ibang gamot maliliit? Uh, yung mga madaling uh, bilhin sa yung walang prescription na mga gamot, no? Binebenta nila. Because again, one of the idea of uh, physical store, especially variety stores, when they target and have that intensive type of distribution, they tend to sell each and every uh, um, product no? that that may, they may offer and what do their customer needs. No? Ganito kasi strategy dyan eh. Uh, kapag ang tao, kapag ang tao lumapit, lumapit sa'yo o naghanap ng product sa'yo, wala ka, tendency maghahanap yan dun sa iba. And then masasanay siya dun. So, you've, uh, we, we've done that in the product management as part of the buyer behavior. No? And variety store doesn't really go into price wars, pero it's also consideration. However, um, pag andyan na lahat, kahit mahal ng piso o 50 centimos yung produkto mo dun sa ibang mga, mga tindahan, ano ba naman yung 50 cent, cents sa ibang tao? Ano ba naman yung piso sa ibang tao? Eh, dito niya nakikita yung convenience. Mabilis, nandyan na lahat. So it's an adv- advantage if if you have been having that uh, variety store, uh, the availability of the products uh, helps in the total retail experience. Then a uh, department store uh, or household goods yun nga lang, non-consumable no? in, so, in so many instances. No? Mga damit, no? uh, gamit sa bahay na hindi nakoconsume pero nagagamit. No, yun yung mga binebenta sa department store, bags, no, na uh, shoes, no. Okay? And then um, a factory outlet is um, parang direct distribution, no? Dito nila binababa. Uh, technically in so many again, in so many instances they focus on uh, exclusive distribution, no? Factories coming from the factory uh, uh, factory itself, diretso dun sa dun sa store na yun. So in Robinsons, we have the Mango Factory Outlet. And then in at Enlex Santo Tomas, I think, sa uh, sa dyan, no sa uh, expressway natin, merong Nike Factory Outlet. We're in uh, the Nike Nike fa- Factory um, distributes no yung mga products niya doon. So that's called Factory Outlet. No, and then the membership club. Either be an exclusive or intensive or selective selective type of retailer, no, pati um distribution. Pero they have the membership. Ibig sabihin, um they consider their members, no, or they give perks to their members to to gain access or to to get those promotional uh, activities or to uh, to exploit those promotional activities. Okay. So, now we go to the um, retail situation in store strategy. Uh, what are those considerations? Of course, kasali yung price, but not solely. Again, depende to sa product. And if you're offering specialty products, no, um, definitely uh, price might might not be one of the best considerations. Might. no. Again, pwedeng consideration siya, but not all the time. Okay? So uh, in in other in other setup no kung ikaw ay may, nasa convenience side and also in the um, differentiated side no be price uh, be price oriented and cost efficient to attract price sensitive customers so that's the idea of the mass marketing if you have that, that type of uh, customers na um, ang binibili nila uh, uh, customers ay um, elastic or ibig sabihin yung income nila ay ay nakaka-apekto sa way ng pagbili nila, they are sensitive with the price, di ba? Okay? So, so you might be considering cost efficiency. Now, um, be upscale to attract full service. What's what's meant by uh, upscaling? No, you are including other services and you are including other products. You are continuing to improve and add up to the product offerings that you have so as makikita nila dyan. And then again, uh, that will trigger re- uh, repeat orders or repeat buy. No? Kasi nga, uh, andyan na yan eh. Masasanay sila. No? Uh, lahat ng hinahanap nila na sa'yo. Kesa naman sa pumunta sila sa iba, hindi naman nila mahanap yung ilang mga kailangan. 
kahit na, di ba? Kahit na medyo mas mahal yung produkto, kahit uh, about 1 peso or 2 peso sa kung ang binebenta mo ay consumer goods. No? And then, uh, be convenient to attract those wanting shopping is nearby location or long hours. No? Sir, bakit po may Robinson dito tapos may Robinson din dun sa isa? Sir, bakit may SM Save More dito tapos kasunod meron na naman? No? So, that's the idea. Um, physical and in-store retail strategies uh, consider uh, convenience and uh, they, they want to attract, do, attract those uh, wanting shopping ease, nearby location or long hours. Now, just a quick fact, no? Um, in so many in so many um, case studies I, I saw this that um, one of the one of the things that fast food chains are trying to con uh, consider whenever they put up their branches is how long the driving hours to reach the last uh, to reach the next store no if it takes about one hour, uh, to reach my next door, no, I need to put up something. I need to put up one branch in between, no. So para makita nila. So uh, the convenience in the nearby location and long hours affects the buying decision of people, no. So there, there's an advantage of using chain and franchise, no, franchises or even lease departments to be available no, in a certain location, no. So that's an advantage and. In a specific consideration, no. So and then offer superior customer service. Uh, one thing, one thing about um, in-store retail strategies, not just about the price. It's also not not just about uh, the quality of the products because products may be the same and price may be the same. Prices may be the same. Let's say in SM supermarket and in Robinson supermarket, products are always available, and then. Um, the products are all also the same, di ba? Might be prices may be the same. Baka meron lang konting pagkakaiba, let's say 10 centavos. No? But uh, try to think about this. That one of the reason why why customers uh, go to your to your uh, respective retail institution is because of the of uh, superior customer service. No? Uh, yun yung hindi nyo pagkakapareho. No, so you you should offer superior customer service as part of your expected retail strategy. Okay, to attract those frustrated by the decline in retail service. No, um, there are there are retail institutions that are focusing on the price. Now, I would like to uh, to discuss some, like, just like choose on, they focus on the price, and um, uh, you will be noticing the difference between between the two, and uh, that lies down to the uh, store and physical layout and also uh, some of the small details no just like the air condition no so it, it offers other services no so iba't ibang consideration yan and then be innovative or exclusive no dalawang bagay no so you might be innovative or exclusive uh, if you're be doing an exclusive distribution no uh, most of the exclusive distribution strategies focus on the specialty products. No? Parang yung uh, prelim exam natin. And provide a unique way of operating such as the kiosk. No? So that's a, that's a unique way. So you, you'll be available. Or carry broad products and brands not stuck by others to reach uh, people who are innovators or bored. No? So it's a typical, typographical error. Should be to reach. No? To reach. Uh, maabot yung mga people. No? that are innovators or bored no? should be um, distinguishing something out of that so uh, there are these are the considerations but not limited to this uh, we'll be discussing more on the live session and I hope that you enjoyed listening thank you very much and see you on to the next one